Hello, I'm Patricia Miller. I'm one of the breast imagers. I'm the director of uh, the Division of Breast Imaging for Henry Ford Health System, and I'm involved in the breast oncology program as part of the treatment team. Our job is imaging of the breast, and so we will evaluate the cancer once it's diagnosed um, to help the surgeon plan the treatment. We communicate with the surgeons, we communicate with the oncologists, and the pathologists, and it's not just in the screening phase, uh, it's throughout the whole phase, the screening, the diagnosis, and then afterward. So we'll see the patients quite often, and uh, some of them are uh, a little shocked to know that radiologists are doctors, are breast imagers, and we see them and we touch them and we do their biopsies, um, and we're very, very interested in their care, and um, we want to contribute to their ultimate success, and, and they will be successfully treated. Most breast cancers are diagnosed either on a mammogram or uh, on physical exam when a lump is felt. So mammography is the study of choice for evaluating uh, breast cancer. Uh, once breast cancer is detected, the mammogram will be re-evaluated. We'll re-look at it to make sure there are no other areas that need to be dealt with before treatment can be started. Microcalcifications are a type of abnormality we look to find on a mammogram. Not all microcalcifications are cancer. So every woman has calcifications in the breast, little tiny pieces of calcium. And it's when the calcifications are grouped or a little irregular looking that we think they may be suspicious and may be associated with early breast cancer. So once there is a diagnosis of breast cancer made, the mammogram will be reevaluated. One of the things we'll look for uh, are microcalcifications. We may need to do additional pictures of the microcalcifications, magnified mammographic images, and we may need to biopsy the microcalcifications to determine if there's anything else in the breast that needs to be considered before treatment is planned. Mammography can see most breast cancers. Um, ultrasound sees a little bit less than a mammogram, uh, but cancer can be visible on both, and cancer can be invisible on both. So on a mammogram, uh, a cancer can be invisible because it's covered up by dense tissue or because it looks like all the other normal tissue in the breast. Uh, the same thing can happen with ultrasound. Uh, breast cancer on ultrasound can look like all the other normal tissue in the breast. So we use the mammogram and we use the ultrasound as complementary. We use them together um, to find as much breast cancer as we can. And once a diagnosis is made, to make sure there are no other areas that need to be evaluated before the patient can be treated. The radiologists are part of the breast oncology team that follows patients uh, during the diagnosis during treatment and after the diagnosis of breast cancer. So after uh, a patient is treated, imaging continues. And we uh, usually do a mammogram after surgery um, as a new baseline and to look at the lumpectomy site. Um, especially if patients have had microcalcifications as part of their breast cancer, we may do special magnified views after the surgery to make sure the microcalcifications were removed. After that, we see the patients every year for a mammogram. Every one year, um, we're looking for redevelopment of cancer um, or changes that uh, can be associated with the treatment itself. 